We are currently in Casardis. Our next objective is to reach the encampment. Prior, we fought a nitpick battle against a cyclops in that little area here, just outside of the encampment. And meanwhile, I travel various areas just to see how far I can reach other areas without necessarily following the story mode. But this is generally the furthest I was able to go. I couldn't go inside the kingdom here, this area here, because I need to complete a few other missions first. Another issue, another topic I'm going to cover is is the equipment. So if you look at my character which uh, represent a half orc, it's wearing a type of really neat armor. And this one is called the Vagabond Armor, which is uh, more or less a partial chest plate. Followed with the the lion spine, which is uh, covering the arm length, with the lion's head near the fist is located, and he's also wearing a tiara of enlightenment. Now these items, they're uh, DLC items that were given to you as part of the Dark Horizon. So if you're playing just a standard original Dragon's Dogma, you won't receive these items. These come by default as when you purchase the Dark Horizon, it's like a, an extended expansion version of the original. So there are many other features like this. And this, these items here, you find them in your box, in your storage, uh, in your storage, in your, uh, when you go to the inn. And here is my other character. He's supposed to represent a Melf character. And he's wearing this Ruminator's monocle. It looks silly, but the specs on it's pretty nice. So, uh, oh, and he also is wearing this Wivery cloth, which is the big portion. It kind of looks like a like, like a kilt, a lion engravement around the belt. Now these items have really good stats for when you begin. Now compared to when I first played on the console, uh, I didn't. I played differently, so I didn't die often. But for some reason, I didn't do much of a very good uh, player this time around. And there's other uh, item as well. The other one is called the Robe of Enlightenment. You can see this person, this pawn, another character, another player, added this uh, the robe on another pawn's character. So this is just generally just a little quick uh, explanation of these weird items that came with the Dark Horizon, which I did not know why it came, but this is because it was the Dark Horizon version. And these items will have a DL in the name at the end, so that tells you it's like it's a downloadable item. So let's head to the encampment. This is a place quite restful to my kind. Went around and got extra, an extra party to my team. So during the uh, cyclist battle, uh, you're able to unleash a pawn that was part of your, your mission in order to show that you're worthy as a horizon. Goblin! Plants of all kind grow at the tree's feet. My 
protect so many verdant children. I'll aid you with bow fire. Now, if you're not wearing a shield and a sword, you can pretty much just use your fist and fight them off. What I thought was funny is without a shield, well, without any of the any swords, you can also give them a nice little kick. So you just like that. I will protect you. And I find it looks kind of neat with the armor. That uh, when you're fighting them off, yeah, it looks uh, looks like you would actually hurt them a lot. Careful, a goblin! Watch this. So as we reach the encampment. We'll be doing the next mission, next objective. I'm just going to equip some items. So that I'm well prepared for battle. Endeavor to be ever calm in battle. Bide your time. Then strike. Yeah, you can hear the goblins on the on the beach side. The yeah, safest on the roads. Perhaps we'll find ore among the crags that litter this place. The duke could stand to commission some new roads. Well sturdy this place. Let's continue our little adventure. Back to Cassidus, Arisen. It is a fair notion. <laughs>